Today I'm answering the question that probably nobody asked. Can you weigh a mystery power box? Pretty sure the answer is no, but I have a theory and it may have been tested before online, but I want to find out for myself. What's happening collectors? Yes, we're opening up a mystery box today. I've got a couple here. Um, actually, I've got three and I want to weigh them and see if they're, you know, a way to find out if there's a, an extra bonus pack in it. I guess you'll never know if it's vintage, but what I've noticed with these mystery power boxes um, is that they haven't, or at least I haven't noticed them throwing in those mystery bonus, um, you know, pack of, of energy cards and or energy packs. That's what they were doing to kind of throw people off. Um, in the last batch, but in this batch, I haven't noticed any or any noticed any that are obviously heavier. It's been pretty consistently a pin, it, uh, or not a pin, but often a coin, a card, a code card, um, and then you get your packs. And the vintage pack sometimes comes as a replacement of another pack, and other times it comes as a bonus pack. So, therefore, it should be heavier, right? Now, I have opened up three of these already and opened up a big fat zero. <laughs> with vintage packs, but in my previous batch when uh, you know the, the last time they did vintage boxes uh, mystery power boxes I did find um, Three or four it was pretty good now a lot of them were tops so don't get too excited They were the tops packs, so I'm just gonna tilt this down here. Let's see if we can get this on screen here I guess I got to push the power button before you can do that So let's just take a look to see how much these weigh and if there is any difference. So this is weighing in grams, so we've got 140 grams. Then we've got 143 grams. Okay, so this is three grams heavier, which would be about a pack if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what it is in packs, and 142. So they're all close, but this seems to be the heaviest one. So we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna open it up and maybe we'll be lucky and there's going to be a pack in it. I mean, even the one that was 142, that's kind of interesting. Like maybe that'll have something in it as well. So I really just wanted to open, some, open up some Pokemon cards. Um, oh man, these boxes, sometimes they package them really, really well, but oh, all righty. Well, how is everybody doing? I know that these mystery power boxes were not quite as good as the ones from Walgreens. And sadly in Canada, we do not have Walgreens. So I was not able to get any of those mystery power boxes so um that were people were pulling like the the uh the, the vintage like base set and that so a caterpie reverse hollow from rebel clash very cool and there's a detective pikachu i'm gonna adjust my camera back up again Whoop. there we go so that is hopefully in the right spot there and now we're gonna we're gonna slow roll this we're gonna see if there is hopefully an extra bonus pack and We've got Lost Thunder, okay. Lost Thunder is not a set that I often find anymore, um, but I like Lost Thunder. It has, if I'm not mistaken, a um, Rainbow Rare Lugia, and which I have pulled, it was centered horribly, so I wouldn't mind getting a, a better one that maybe I could get graded, but. All right, we got Sightseer, that's actually a cool card. Delibird, perfect timing with Christmas. Cascoon Carbink. Chikorita Scyther, that is a great artwork for Scyther. Meryl Onyx, Vespa Queen Reverse Hollow, and a Wigglytuff. All right, my daughter will love that one just because she's my little Jigglypuff. All right, let's see. Oh, we got a coin. Looks like, a, was that Froakie? Okay. All right, well, we got a coin there. Let's see if we can get a vintage pack today. Darkness Ablaze. I like Darkness Ablaze. I have, I'm pretty sure I'm the only person on the planet that has still not pulled that, that, uh, uh, uh hyper rare, not hyper rare, the VMAX Charizard. So I would love to pull that one day. Hopefully that one day is today, but Relicanth, Zoelius, Familiar Bell, Golette, Skitty, Dino, Jigglypuff, Dunsparce, we got a reverse holo turbo patch and a Melmetal. Okay. So we didn't get anything from that pack either. So I'm counting, I don't know. I'm a little bit skeptical here. Could just be the packaging that weighed a little bit more. Um, all right, did I show you? I don't think I showed you that there. Darkness Ablaze. I do generally give away code cards in all my videos. There are some times when I will hold one back or I forget to give it out in a video 
Um, and those are the ones when I end up giving them on my Instagram or Facebook pages. So millennial.collector, make sure you check me out there. Okay, Larvesta. We've got Anarith, Gloom, Deerling, Teddy Ursa, Golette, Jupiter, Helioptile. All right, there we go. I was looking for a Mimikyu. Full art, character card, secret rare, I guess. So that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm happy with getting a Mimikyu there and an Armaldo, but I definitely do not have um, this Mimikyu. So I had actually had some pretty bad luck with pulling those character cards, so I'm, I'm happy about that. All right, let's see what do we got. Ancient Origins. Okay, that is a... Uh, that is... I, again, I hope they don't deem these as, as vintage because it's 2015 maybe. 2015, yeah. So Ancient Origins, I believe, has a... My memory is being tested now. Has a Rayquaza in it. So, ooh, only three. Only three. All right, let's see if we can get something good here. Paint Roller... Arados, Ace Trainer, a cool ball toy. I don't know what these cards are called. They're like, I don't even know what those are called. Unknown, Beldum, Gumi. Whoop, there it is. We've got a Reverse Hollow Cottony and a Vespa Queen. Again, I don't know what these like extra interesting cards are called. I don't know if they have a special name, but hmm. Okay, well, we didn't get anything from that either. That's disappointing. And one pack left so there was not a bonus pack because i believe that was yeah that's four so there is no bonus pack in here so what do we got as the last pack sword and shield ah disappointing that is too bad but you know what i'm gonna open up a second i'm gonna open up the second heaviest box after this because we can't stop there we can't just stop at one in fact we've still not had a uh, white code card these uh boxes are definitely not a effective way to buy uh, packs of cards. Um, if you are looking for a particular set, um, you know, buy that because this is an expensive way. Now you do have a chance. Obviously, one in five sounds good, but I am a little bit skeptical. But let's let's see. Maybe maybe to, uh, the the next one I open up, glaring ponita, is going to be my fifth box. So by odds, standard, it should be a vintage pack in it. Reverse Hollow Basharp and a Drapion. So yeah, we got no holographics in that whole box. So that was a big bummer of a box. So we're gonna open up the second heaviest, which was this one here. And we're gonna hope that we can get something in this box. Again, unless they are that fifth pack is a, uh, a vintage one and they're taking out a pack. Cause in the last one, it was you, you're, your bonus item, like, because they, they say they give you a bonus item, and that was often the, the the pack. So you would have a heavier box, I guess. So I don't know if they did it differently in this particular instance, but eh, let's see. This was the second heaviest box. I'm a little bit skeptical that we would notice a big difference, but let's see here. Where are... There's a coin. Pikachu, very nice. Who doesn't love a good Pikachu coin? And we're starting off with some Cosmic Eclipse, which I like. I really like the set. Um, it's a very large set, and I'm not even remotely close to finishing it. But, and you know what? I'm going to save that code card. That's going to go for my Instagram and Facebook followers. So, again, Millennial.Collector. I am missing the Charizard and Breaks in red and blue. Very nice. Um, Heracross, Lily's Poké Doll, Crab Brawler, Carvana, Chinchow. We've got an Azuril, Rufflet, Reverse Hollow Whalmer, and oh baby, a gold card, yeah! All right, we got the Martial Arts Dojo. Ah, oh, that is cool. I am glad we finally got at least a pull out of one of these boxes. Martial Arts Dojo, excellent. All right, I, I, I don't have any gold cards from this set. So that's good. I think this card's maybe worth like five bucks. It's obviously gonna be on the screen, but I think it's worth five or maybe six bucks. So Cosmic Eclipse has been where the fire's been so far with uh, with this set, uh, with these boxes. So, all right, Darkness Ablaze. Can we follow up that? Nope, because that's a green code card. Awesome, yay, yay, green code card. So we're just gonna go ahead and, and cause and that's, you know what, I love Vivid Voltage and Hidden Fates and all those ones because you have a chance for um, 
well, I shouldn't say, say really Hidden Fates, but specifically Vivid Voltage, because even if you get a green code card, you're going to have the opportunity at getting a um, uh, Glaring Mr. Rhyme. There you go. Uh, that amazing rare, which I think is fantastic. And I mean, I I love that they did it that way because it, it, it makes the code color a little less relevant, um, or at least a little less important. But Lost Thunder, okay, so we're getting really the same packs here. <laughs> Uh, but you know what? I've been pretty lucky. I have seen other people that have got um, Steam Siege in these boxes. So I'm hopeful that we won't end up with some Steam Siege today. But um, let's see if we can at least get something good here. L that is a rest in peace. Fairy Energy. Electabuzz. Where is that? There we go. Uh, let's put that over there. Spell Tag. Cascoon. Cyndaquil. Pineco. Combi. Litleo. We've got a Cutie Fly. Tapu Bulu rev uh, Reverse Rare. That's pretty good. It's horrible centering. And... Oh, very cool. A Blas uh, Blacephalon. That is a weird... I don't even know what Blacephalon is, but I believe that was one of the pack arts uh, for the set. So, that's pretty cool. All right, we, we, pulled, we pulled an Ultra Rare as well, so I can't be too upset with that. And it is like a, a clown? I'm, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't really understand what that what that Pokemon is, but all right. Oh, let's get the, let's get the card. We've got a, another reverse <laughs> uncommon this time from Rebel Clash as well. So, and there should be a code card or something in here. Yeah, there's a code card. There we go. Let's see if we get something good. Primal Clash. So answer that one is no. Second last pack. We've got Ancient Orange. Yeah, like this is the exact same, exact same product. So, um, there's a code card for the Lost Thunder. Let's hope for that. And there's that ball toy again. Interesting. Um, Rayquaza? Yeah, let's, let's look, let's look for that Rayquaza. That'd be pretty cool. All right. Where are we at here? Level Ball. Ariados, that's the same, yeah. Lysander, Ball toy, yeah, that's the same thing we had. Unknown, we had that. Beldum, we had that. Gumi, we had that. Wooper, we had that. Yeah, this feels like the exact same pack. Is that is that the same reverse hollow that I had too? No, I had a cottony. Okay. Ariados and a again one of these little special cards of the Volcarona. Volcarona. Very cool. Alright. Last pack. I don't feel anything else in the box. Let's hope for nope, sword and shield. So it's literally the exact same packs in both. And you know. I pulled, I pulled a gold card, I pulled a, a rainbow, or sorry, a character card, and I pulled an ultra rare with Cephalon, so it's not been too bad, to be honest with you. It's not been great, but it's not been, you know, it's not been Charizard great or vintage pack great, so. All right, let's finish on a last pack magic here and get some lightning. Corvusquire, um, Galvantula, Galarian Lanoon. Goldeen, Roselia, Ghastly, Pontiard, Sizzlipede. We've got a reverse rare Graplock. Very cool. And a Drampa the Grandpa. Wah, wah. Well, there you have it. I opened up two, weighed them. They were the heaviest ones. No pack. Maybe we'll try it again on this last box. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if there's anything good in it one day. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you have yourself an amazing day. See you next time.